If you haven't already seen enough news to ruin your day, here's some more. The EPA released a study revealing that millions of acres of U.S. farmland are likely contaminated with toxic chemicals known as PFAS. How to get there? Sewage, that's how. For decades, U.S. farmers were sold and used sludge, a byproduct of sewage from wastewater treatment plants, to fertilize their land. This sludge gets its PFAS contamination from unregulated industrial discharge by polluters like DuPont and 3M. In 1993, the EPA started regulating sludge under the Clean Water Act. Since then, EWG and others have raised concerns about using sludge in food production. And after many years, we can finally and unfortunately say we were right. The PFAS chemicals found in the sludge have been linked to cancer, immune suppression, reproductive and developmental issues, as well as other serious health risks. Farmers are already facing devastating consequences, including the need to euthanize animals with unsafe levels of PFAS. More than 70 million acres of farmland could be affected, with urgent action needed to address the crisis. It's time to ban PFAS-contaminated sludge on food crops. We need stricter industrial regulations, like requiring polluters to treat PFAS waste at the source to prevent contamination elsewhere. And it's not on the farmers to fix this. We can't burden them with the task of cleaning this mess up. That's the responsibility of the polluters. 